Hey folks, I have the liquid molly additive and I got the lab test results back from it. And this is, as with all things, just an additive. It is not the oil, it is just the liquid molly additive that you can add to your oil. And I did a lab test because I was curious what it was. So I went through it and one thing I did find out, the liquid molly truck series is what I actually tested. And uh, it is the MOS2 500 milliliter can. And it was running um, $18.98. That's right, plus shipping, tax, handling, whatever it is. You may find it cheaper or more, but that's exactly what I did find it for. Uh, did the Blackstone testing as expected. Is Molly denim is quite high in this sample. Um, there's a high amount of insolubles. In other words, it's so high that it did not even stay suspended. So, uh, yeah, that's a ton of Molly in there. And uh, they had five parts per million iron, so you got to take that into consideration when you're testing your oil because you're actually adding iron into your oil with this, which they determined was a little bit curious why it has such a high amount of iron in it right off the bat out of the can. Uh, but they assume it's from contamination or something during the processing of the uh, product, so maybe their processing system isn't up to speed or needs maintenance but it shouldn't be an issue as I said the TBN was a outstanding uh, what 0 0.1 so what this does being a 0 0.1 is it takes away from your TBN for your oil when you add this in replace of of that amount of oil so it actually will reduce your TBN so keep that in mind your TBN will be reduced by this product slightly but it will be reduced and if you're running, uh, say, a 40 weight oil, this will also reduce your viscosity of your oil because it is merely a 30 weight. And if you're running a 20 weight oil, it will increase the viscosity of your oil. So, uh, you know, 30 weight oil, straight 30 weight. It's not a 5 or anything like that. It is a straight 30 weight oil. So you got to keep that in mind when you're adding this to it. Now, as far as the product information, I did go through and got their... Uh, truck series oil treatment product information and uh, basically uh, what they did say is that their information is based on thorough research and may not or may be considered reliable although not legally binding so, so we did research but don't hold us to it <laughs> yeah always interesting to see how the legal ease is written on this but they say it has excellent wear resistance increases operational reliability uh, not so sure about that reduces oil and fuel consumption uh, yeah jury's out on that 30 weight oil I guess eh, who knows what it'll be uh, minimizes friction well Molly is a friction reducer so we're gonna assume they're going on that uh, has outstanding emergency running properties, whatever that means. I guess if you run your car out of or truck out of oil, uh, this is supposed to help, but you know, turn the engine off for gosh sakes. Uh, and increases smooth operation. Um, what if it's already running smooth? Never know. So, uh, yeah, a um, little concerned about how they're actually wording that and doing it. Uh, the flashpoint. The flash point for this oil is 394 degrees Fahrenheit. So here's another cavit. This oil will also reduce the overall flash point of your oil you're using. If your oil, say, has a 425 degree flash point, this oil will bring it down. That's right, this additive will bring it down. You don't get nothing for something. You, you, you have an exchange here. So when you're using this product, you gotta know what you're doing and what the results are of using this liquid molly in your engine. Uh, the pour point on it is minus four degrees Fahrenheit. So that being said, if your oil's pour point is say minus 25, you add this to it, that reduces the pour point of your oil in the winter. So basically it thickens it up so it doesn't move as good. So that's another thing you have to pay attention to with this liquid molly additives. So uh, that definitely makes a big issue. Now, one thing about this Molly, they, they charge what? Almost 20 bucks for the can? Did you know that you can buy the MOS2 
uh, in the 1.5 micron size, one pound bag for $45. That'd be a lifetime supply, folks, because there's not much in it. Keep in mind, one pound, and we're talking parts per million. So you're putting a very, very small fraction, a little tiny, tiny bit, not even a pinch in there trying to do this. So uh, basically, they're got, they got a 30-weight oil, according to the testing I saw there, and uh, they're mixing something they can buy for, for literally not even a penny and add it to the oil, and they're charging you 20 bucks for this and you can actually buy it. They sell the point, uh, 4.5 micron for $36 and the 12.5 micron size uh, molybdenum uh, for $27. You can buy this stuff online if you wanted to and add it to your oil yourself. Save a ton of money, share with the neighbors, friends, family, and everybody else. So, uh, yeah, that, that there is a whole lot of bad juju as far as you go with that. And uh, we're going to go over what was actually in the oil in the oil report. Uh, starting out, we had aluminum was zero in the oil report. Chromium was zero. Uh, iron was five. Remember, they said there was a five, five parts per million iron in there. Copper was one. Uh, lead was zero. Tin was zero. Molybdenum, 3,753 parts per million in this additive that's right that is a lot so you know i'll try to add that all up at the end here to see how much it is per cord and everything nickel was zero manganese was zero silver was one uh titanium was zero potassium was one titanium was zero uh and potassium was one i skipped one there boron was four silicon was 16. yeah that's a little high uh, but uh, sodium was 10 and uh, you got to be careful of these when you're looking for coolant because these things can definitely mess you up if you got high levels in the original oil. Uh, calcium was 2 which is virtually nothing. Uh, magnesium was 1. Phosphorus was 5. Zinc was 1. So virtually the only thing really of any note in this additive is the 30 weight oil and the molybdenum. That's it. You know, the, the, the other numbers are virtually nothing as far as what you're looking at. The SUS viscosity was 64.2, which stands in line for the 30 weight, and the C, CST viscosity was 11.38. Um, they said here uh, we got, uh, what was it, the insolubles is 0.4, and the TBN was 0.1. So... Uh, overall, that's the whole gist of the whole additive thing for the molybdenum. And what does it cost? How much is too much? Liquid moly additive for mix six quarts is about 625 uh, parts per million if the oil contains no moly. So if you have an oil that has no moly in it, then you divide this container up by six, you could come out with 625 parts per million per quart. So when you add this additive in there, that's what you're going to end up getting, which is quite high. It's, that's higher than a lot of the uh, top line oils, AMS oil, red line, and all that stuff. That is a very high amount of uh, molybdenum that you were talking there. Uh, for example, red line I do have here is take, holds 587 parts per million of molybdenum. Okay? So it, it wipes out the red line as far as that. But keep in mind, if you have red line in your car and you want to add this, now you're looking at an exceedingly large amount of molybdenum. And how much is too much is a question. So if you mix it in there with that red line, you end up with 1,212 parts per million of molly in your oil. Uh, that's a lot. That, that's, I've never seen that. I, I think that exceeds any need. It, could it clog your filter? I don't know. It depends on the micron size they're using. Uh, the cost of the product four times a year, if you change your oil four times a year, will cost you about $75.92, not including tax, shipping, and everything else. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's one good oil change right there. So, you know, it costs to add additives, and so they're, they're making the money off of it. 11-year uh, use over the average life of the vehicle will be $835.12 if you use this for, you know, average oil changes over the life of the vehicle. So you're, you're spending a good $800 just in additives. 
that's like a whole car payment. So, uh, yeah, uh, not so sure that I would use this stuff. I don't use additives in my engine, my Duratec, and quite frankly, my Duratec is, uh, how do they say it, uh, doing very well. Yes, it is doing very well because it has almost 300,000 miles on it and not one oil additive has been put into it. So, uh, do you need additives? Quite frankly, no. Uh, you know, if you use an additive, then it's more than likely because your engine's on its last leg and you're just trying to milk it. So, uh, just keep that in mind. But that is the <laughs> molybdenum additive, liquid moly uh, additive that they have there for the truck series uh, oil. So hopefully that helps you out. I had a hard time finding it on the shelves. Uh, I think I found it at Farm and Fleet or something like that, or Fleet Farm, whatever they call that place. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. This is exactly what I found in the lab results. And, uh, you know, use it at your own discretion. I'm not going to tell you yes or no to not use it. I'm just telling you what worked for me, and I haven't used any additives. So I don't, don't claim to say any additive does any better than the oil I put in my car. But that being said, my fee at the floor today, I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day, too. Band of One's got some great music. And Mercy Grill has a couple one-liners for you. Don't forget, like, subscribe to this channel, and join Mac T Ford Edge, Mac T Garage on Facebook. That's right, Mac T Garage on Facebook and Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. Um.